Just wanted to make a quick segment here showing you guys how I've sanded and prepped the surface. It still needs a little smoothing out with this 300 grit, but after that's done, I'll start painting it. Hey guys, it's Drac. This is the Nerf Jolt. It's reasonably new. I love this blaster. I think it's a ton of fun. This is going to be my mod guide for it. It has four screws on the bottom. They are all Phillips head. So I'm going to hit that up with my traditional Nerf screwdriver that I use. And I'll show you what the internals look like. This is definitely going to be getting a paint job. They're so cheap that it's very reasonable to tinker around with some painting techniques on this one. I may let the Draculina do it. I'm going to sand it down and paint it and knock out this AR. So I'll show you what those look like in a minute. Alright, you guys can see that I've removed the four Phillips head screws. They're all the same size and when you remove them, you can tell that it's already got a pretty tough spring inside. The catch mechanism is built into the trigger there. You can see how it depresses when I pull down the trigger and that's how the plunger slides in. It's got a flawless seal due to the nature of this and it looks like if I remove this and I'll try to right now I may be able to get into this and do a spring replacement which will be cool. I don't know if the the stock catch will hold back a K26 but if it will I could get a ton more power out of this and it will indeed. That's how you get it apart and that's about as far as this blaster will break down. You can see down into there that there is an air restrictor that I will be removing entirely either with my Dremel bit or I may try and hammer it out. This spring that comes in the jolt is actually very beefy. I like it a lot. I'm worried now that I can see it that a K26 might not fit. Anyway, I'll show you how I knock out the air restrictor and then I'll sand it and show you how I paint it. Hey guys, normally I am not a fan of the hammer method to take out an air restrictor, but in the jolt it's really the best scenario because you want to get a super clean removal. I hope you guys can tell through the camera that this is a completely flawless air restrictor removal. This is what's left of the disc after I crushed it with needle nose pliers to remove it because again there's no way to butterfly this one open, you have to work entirely through the plunger port. And then this is the air restrictor peg itself. The spring was destroyed or I'd show it to you. You have to be careful not to mess with the catch spring. And I managed to keep mine intact. And now that I've done that, I'm going to start sanding this and getting it ready for painting. This is a really cool blaster. I know I've said that like five times, but I really like this. Hey guys, this is the finished paint job and mod for the Nerf Jolt. I like it a lot. I like the paint job that's been done to it. My girlfriend actually handled this one. It's all my red fanger enamel paint, and then I came in and wrote the Bite FG1 up top in silver. I also did this handle part up in black so that it meshes better, and then I outlined some of the rings and fake bolts in silver. I think it looks a lot better now. I've also tried both a K25 and a K26 of roughly this length, but the fact of the matter is that without replacing the catch it won't hold a new spring so I use the stock spring and I re-grease the seal now this is an interesting mod because although now it fires my slugs about 40 feet and my glue domes this isn't a great glue dome but it fires them roughly 35 it still fires stock darts about 30 or 35 feet or so. Now it does fire streamlines better, but there's no real range improvement with just the AR removal. Now I've brassed a jolt, which has gotten an extra 5 feet out of everything, but ultimately these blasters may not need mod tutorials, which is weird, but unmodded they work about as well with stock darts as they do modded, but I'm going to be using it to fire streamlines because that's what I carry with me most of the time during HVZ, so I'm glad that I modded it, but if you're using stock darts and suctions and taggers and, and whistler darts, it may not need a mod guide, but overall I'm very pleased with this blaster and how it turned out, and I like it a lot, so that is the bite, which is my mod guide for the Nerf Jolt, and as always, thanks for watching.